Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will be talking about selection in AutoCAD. I'm gonna bring the notepad here. So, selection in AutoCAD. So basically how you would select your geometry when you're working on your drawing and projects. There's different ways to, uh, sorry, different ways to do selection in AutoCAD. The simplest one is by using the mouse. Okay, and the mouse has several ways to do selection itself. So let's get going. I'm just gonna drop a few elements here. Any shapes, really. So I did a line, this is a polyline. I'm gonna do a circle here. I'm gonna do an arc. And another arc maybe and actually for later on we'll need this a little later in the video I'll do a circle and again another polyline then let's do a rectangle and what else and I think this this should be fine for now all right so with the mouse if you click on the left button on the mouse it allows you to draw selection windows so right now I'm gonna click here once and then click here again, you will see it starts drawing a selection window. In AutoCAD, you don't have to click and hold the left button on the mouse. You just need to click once and again, click again, and that will do the, the selection window. If you click and hold the left button on the mouse, it will start drawing a shape. And this shape allows you to actually do a selection based on what's inside this shape. All right, and we'll cover this in a minute. All right, so, we keep going with the selection window so I already showed you that if you click like this you saw this what I want to show you now is that in AutoCAD the selection window has two different colors depending on the direction uh, of the mouse so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna, I clicked on the left and I'm going to the right but if I take the mouse to the left direction you will see that we get a green window and if you see this one the blue the blue window um, obviously it's blue and the border of it is a solid line However, if we go to the left, you see the green window and it has a dashed border line. All right, so this is just to um, differentiate both of them. So the difference between the blue and the green is that blue, it will select an element if the element is fully inside it, while green, it only needs to touch the element on the border or the perimeter and it will be able to select it. So again, let's do this again. Let's do this based on a single line here. I'm just going to do a line and I'm going to click enter to finish the command. I'm going to click somewhere here. Uh, let's see. So let's say we go from right to left. This will give us a green. And notice now on the line that we drew, if I just put the selection window on top of it, the line will get highlighted, which means it will be selected. I'm going to click again here to finish my selection. And here we go. The line gets selected. This time I'm going to do the blue window, so I need to go from the left to the right, and I'm going to do the same. And notice that the line doesn't get highlighted, and if you click, it doesn't actually get selected. So let's do this again. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to start the line command. Okay, we're doing the selection. Let's do this again. So we click here, and the blue, I showed you that it won't select if we do like this. If I expand the blue window all the way to fully have the line inside it, now the line gets highlighted and we also are able to select it. All right, so that's the difference between the blue and the green. Bring back the notepad so the mouse has green, green window selection, which will select, select any object, hit touch. While the blue window, blue window selection will select objects that are fully inside it. Okay? And also, if you click and hold the mouse, you will get fence selection. Okay? So for the fence selection, the same. The direction of the mouse will also give you, for example, if I go from 
uh, right to left this give us a green selection window and here we go anything that is touched by the green selection it will get selected you see here the two arcs in the circle are highlighted they will get selected here we go you see and the blue the same here I will need to fully cover this arc inside this fence selection now it gets highlighted and now it's selected all right so uh, one more note in in AutoCAD just to mention about selection you don't need to start the select command like on the command line similar to line and other commands uh, the mouse itself will take care of it just click the button and it will do the selection all right so that was one method of selection or actually three three methods of uh, selection with the mouse um, actually I would say two basically when you draw a window or if you draw the fence selection okay and another method with the mouse as well is to actually just uh, put the cursor and select click on the object directly that's what I want to say okay here's the mouse back to AutoCAD you can just put the cursor on the element or the object click and it will select it um, if, and the same here click click and you see it will select the elements I'm gonna click escape here of course a window selection will allow us to select all of them with only two clicks of the mouse all right and I'm gonna click escape here and let's look into another method of selection I'm gonna bring back the notes so I just showed you there's the mouse and there's also a command called select similar so select similar basically is that allows you to select any elements that are similar for example to this line so I'm gonna select this line I'm going to right click and then here in this options menu you will see that there is the select similar here I'm going to click it and here you go it selects all the elements or all the objects that are lines in AutoCAD these are lines as well of course and this one too and this one here it's made of lines but these are actually polylines so the line and the polyline are two different objects in AutoCAD so when you select similar to a line it won't select the polyline if I click escape let's select this geometry right click do select similar and here we go only the polylines get selected let's do this for the arc I'm gonna right click select similar so an arc will select another arc and the same for the circle all right so that's regarding select similar when we do it from the options menu the options menu it, you will not see here the um, the select similar command when you are right clicking without having an element selected first so you need to select first an object then right click and you will see select similar and when I say right click I mean right click on the mouse right and here's another place to start the select similar command if you just type it on the keyboard you will see it will pop up select similar and let's select it here I'm gonna click on it and right now it says select objects or and also here on the bottom on the command line it says select objects or and it's showing us that there is actually settings so I'm gonna click on the settings here and here we go this menu is basically uh, that is this basically the menu that controls the settings for the select similar command so right now by default in AutoCAD it will select objects based on their layer and based on their name and in the case of here that I showed you also based on the object type it's not an option here but everything that that is a line will get selected when we do select similar to a line polyline arc circle and and you get the point all right going to click OK here and click escape so to recap this let's see here so select similar there's settings uh, for it let's actually talk about uh, same it will select um, exact same objects for example lines polylines circles arcs etc and also there's settings for the select similar so mainly you use the mouse to select objects as you are drawing and modifying and then you do select similar later on maybe if you want to get rid of several objects at the same time or change their color or change their layer that's what you would use to do that if this was helpful for you please click on the like button and the subscribe button 
And of course, leave a comment if you have a question.